one. Hello everyone! Hello to the Midwest Speedfest, I'm Etienne, welcome to the run of uh, Fury for the speedrun mode of the Furrier mode. Uh, this is the hardest uh, mode this is the hardest mode of difficulty in these games. Uh, it's a French indie game, so a pretty unique gameplay, as you will see. It's a hack and slash bullet hell boss rush game, if we can say things like that. So, uh, with a pretty well made uh, speedrun mode, as you will see, so we'll definitely use that for this run. Um, mainly, we use the in game timer for this speedrun, but of course, for a marathon run, that will be uh, RTA. That will no big difference instead of we having loading times. So I saw that we get the incentive for the blindfolded boss fight. Thank you for that and thank you for all of the donations. Uh, we'll do that at the end of this run, uh, to be clear. <laughs> so, and not during it. So if we are ready, we can go in three, two, one, go. And here we go for Fury. As you can see, I play with keyboard and mouse, but it's also possible to play these games and also recommended to play these games with a controller. Uh, I'm more used of keyboard and mouse, to be honest. So, we're becoming the very first boss of this game. This is the chain. So, as you can see, every boss can add melee attack like this, and I can parry them with, uh, with the parry buttons. Carefully dodge that, put the boss on the border, because of that, it will teleport. And during these teleportations, I have the opportunity to boost my katana, make him in, make him in the red. And a katana boosted uh, deal 5 damage instead of 1, so it's really useful to be fast in the speedruns. So yeah, it's it's the basics in melee, in melee fights to boost your katanas to win times, because you deal tons of damage because of that. So we go into the center. So mainly when we are in free fight like that in the arena, the fastest way to DPS the boss is definitely your your blaster. So this is why this is why I mainly use my blaster when we are in this fight. Here I cannot use my blaster when we are in CQC fight, close water combat fight. This is the abbreviation that we use in the Furious Speedruns community. So yeah, in this type uh, of fights, we definitely need to boost our blaster. So phase 3 is really RNG AV dependent, so let's hope this boss... Is... That's normally is the, is the tutorial boss in the normal mode, but uh, in Furia mode it begins to be really aggressive. Okay, let's hope... Oh, you don't like this one, it's pretty... Okay, he is in the center, so I will use another... Ah, I messed, I messed up. I got it. I use this charged attack to activate the cutscenes, put him down on the ground, let me let me sometimes to boost my katanas, and it remains one damage. There we go. That was not very clean for phase three, but it's fine. That's fine for a marathon. So I don't know if some of you know these games. So it's uh, yeah, a pretty well. Uh, it's it pretty well made. Uh, sell. Um, the sales of these games were, are pretty pretty great, to be honest. And so it's also a pretty awesome music. So, oh, by the way, this is the bullet L section of the of uh, this boss, so there is no way to win times or avoid it. It is a, typically uh, um, another scroller, so if you have any donations, that's the, the perfect moment, because I, I, don't have any, I don't have any possibilities to win times here. Well, I do want to remind everybody that for the run coming up right after this one, Mega Man Stream 2, there is a revisited story bid war going on. You get to choose what the bonus run will be if you want the 100% zero mission or the any percent X mission. Currently, the any percent X mission is in the lead with $20, but the 100% zero mission has a dollar if you want to see more. More Midwest Speed Fest. I do believe 100% usually takes longer than any percent. Get those bids in for that bid war. Either way, there's going to be a bonus run. You just get to choose which one. The power is in your hands. Chat. Thank you. Sorry, I I, I, I did a Windows uh, a back to Windows to boost your sounds reader because yeah, it was a pretty. It's not as loud as uh, is, to be sure everyone's here. The next big wars. So because yeah, I didn't check that before. 
There we go for the second boss, the strap. So the strap is pretty different than the chain because the, the area is uh, pretty big and there is also some um, pillar and some stuff on the ground that bait the boss like that. And I can use that to manipulate the boss and making him go in where I want. And here I want the boss to be on the very top of the area like this because it will be easier to deal with. Come to me, thank you. So I will wait this attack, do a... Oh, that's bad. Anyway, I will charge. Back up threat. Remains one damage and that's it. Well, that was very bad. I unfortunately touched the zone by doing uh, my combo. That's happened sometimes. So the boss free herself like that. I will wait this combo. Oh, she reset. Perfect. Trying to still having air on the border of the area, it's way easier than dealing with air around so walls and some stuff. So, I will go here. That will be normally enough. There we go. One, two, three. Recharge. And one, two, three. There we go. Each boss has 15 HP. Uh, most of the times in uh, close quarter combat fight, in CQC fight, and we make a combo, a clear combo. Oh, that's very bad. I shouldn't have the boss in this situation. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come to me. Sorry, I precisely set up herself here because I really need air in certain positions for this part of the fight, because here there is a stun lock, uh, a very typical speedrun strategy that can avoid me to deal with the next phase, so I will carefully doing that. No, I missed it. Anyway, that's uh, unfortunately I push her close, oh damn it, I push her too close from the walls and I lose the vision from her. Anyways, let's do with the backup strats with the pillar. Normally we can still have air as I did during the beginning of this phase by... Oh, thank you. By uh, making free slash reset, free slash reset and so on and so on. I will carefully dodge that. No. Remains one attack. Uh, that was not a very clear strap to be honest, but anyway, that's... Uh, that's, we don't lose too many times. I think we lose 20 seconds because of this fail on the stunlock. That's not too bad. So, once again, we are in this final phase. Each, every boss have a final phase like this. It was typically a, a, a only bullet L section. And as you can see, the boss is in golden like that. When is the case, the boss is invincible. So, yeah, there is definitely no way to win time. So you just have to survive. So. If there is any donation on message, that's the perfect moment. There is a donation. We had a $25 donation from Anonymous, who said, Bravo to the Peking Boo Runner for this magnificent SM64, and good luck to Etienne for this footy run. Go the 5,000. Thank you for the donations. Okay. I will carefully, intentionally hit myself here to Oof. There we go. A little part of the CQC fight just here. I just have to carefully dodge this laser. It's not difficult at all. I just have to keep dashing a side to another, waiting for the shockwave. And bim! That was the second boss, the strap. Yeah, 20 seconds as I as I said, more than that. Anyways. Go for the boss number three, the line. So the beginning of this boss is pretty different uh, because yeah, there is some shield and also some shock waves, and uh, even the speedrun strat is so dangerous that only one guy or two guy, I think, and the entire community does uh, does it. So because I'm on the only three on this little board <laughs> and not one or two, uh, I'm not doing it. I just going for the full DPS of the, the shield 
to be married and safe because doing it in a different way in this uh, in this boss can also give you more times to just destroy all of the to just destroy all of the shield like that and deal with the boss. Here I'm not very lucky. Sometimes he sometimes he dies way earlier. Anyway. Incomings for the true phases. Second phase. So the second phase have some um, indestructible projectile like this, but I can parry them. That's the good things about these games. And sometimes most of the players doesn't expect that you can parry projectiles, and that's a huge help. So I will take an intentional hit here to don't be knocked back by the shock waves. You have some iframes when you get hit by some things in these games, and are definitely useful for going through things that's more dangerous. For example, things that can that can push you up. Oh, oh, I missed. Okay, remains one damage. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, I will put him down on the ground for charging my next shots. There we go. Ah, that's very bad. I will redo it. Anyway, that's a lot of time lost, of course, but... I cancel that. And that's it. That was slow, but we're more fine. Phase 3. So here, this is a cycle, uh, cycle base phase. In the normal mode, most of the, those patterns are way easier, to be honest. But in Fury mode, that's also pretty interesting because um, in in many situations, you learn the most of the control, and you are used to the control of these games with the normal mode. And after that, you have, there is the Fury mode, and we definitely that definitely push yourself very. In a, in a very difficult, uh, in a in a most difficult way possible for most of those patterns. We'll see that in the in the next bosses. Ah, this is a perfect parry. Trigger the scatsins. Uh, I try to avoid that as ma as the maximum because that's losing times. Oh, once again, please. Thank you. Perfect. That's the perfect way to do a CQC fight. So that's what I would like to do in, er, uh, in the last phase, but anyway, I messed up. So uh, this phase is pretty different than the two over one we just saw, because there is a way to win times. Uh, the boss will remain invincible until I beat eight... Eight? Yeah, eight. Eight pillars. Uh, I don't know how to count. <laughs> uh, that will appear right now. Now, can I stop losing health, please? Thank you. There we go. And the problem is, I also have to deal with a lot of projectile with by dealing with those two pillars. Those eight pillars, I mean. So, and because I won't like to do to redo this entire phase, I will be very careful because it's pretty easy to die in this phase if you. You are too aggressive because you can uh, you can shoot a little bit faster than the games normally would like to. Uh, I will explain that. As you can see, I use uh, my um, blaster as a charge, uh, and charge my blaster to deal uh, tons of damage with only one shot. But this anima the animations at the end of the charge uh, take some take on around one seconds because there is a yeah you get pushed by your own blaster. I don't know how we can. We can say that in English, I'm sorry. Uh, but you can cancel this animation by doing a dash. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. But the problem is that can push you into a projectile. So that's sometimes dangerous. So here, the boss disappear. Where is he? There it is. So we are a tiny minute behind, I think. Yeah, around. It's not, it's not so bad. And that was the f boss number three, the line. There we go for the boss number four, the scale. So this guy uses uh, love green. This guy is green, basically. And this whole fight is green. I will avoid this green shockwave. And 
try to go for a good CKC. Pushing now for the border. Because of that, he's forced to dash. And because of that, I can go for the classic combo. 1 to 3, 1 to 3. For 15 damage. And that's very fast. So here, normally, um, the scale uses uh, lasers. But the good thing is, once again, with the parry button, at a very good timing like that, you can parry the laser and use it against him. Yeah, that's very bad. Okay, I did a combo differently here. I take, I use an extra, an extra hit to be sure he die at my second rush. So I will be really careful here because there is a cutscene at the end of this phase. But if if I'm fast enough, I can I can skip this cutscene, and that's really important because that's a, that's basically a run here for a PV attempt. So I will try to doing that correctly. Ah, I really have to deal with him right now. There we go. That's also very bad. No, that's fine. I did the exact same same things uh, as earlier. Uh, because sometimes the boss counter you and don't give you enough time to begin your combo correctly with a free hit. It only gives you time for two hits. Basically, that's not the case in the in the normal mode because you have enough time to to deal the combo every time but oh that was bad anyway i will push him down on the on the ground that's not that's not a big deal i did a little mistake there and that's it. there we go so yeah inferior mode the boss if you know fighting games the boss have less hit stun and that's definitely a problem for doing for doing good combos in close quarter combat fight. Okay, you go to the border, that's perfect. So here, I will go for a free charge attack because for some reason he dive every time and that gives me the time to, to recharge my katanas and do for this free, free hits with charge attack with boosted attack and as I said the boss has 15 HP and each boosted attack does 5 so if you're good at math you exactly know what I mean. Here we go again for bullet hell sections so if there isn't donations or any message that's definitely a great moment. You have a message. I wanted to remind everybody that Midwest 2020 is being restreamed in French by our friends over at Baguette Restream. They've been working with us for many marathons in a row, and we always appreciate their support. You can find their French restream at twitch.tv slash baguette underscore restream. Salut les gars! <laughs> so yeah, I'm French too. I was commentated for the run of IC. Uh, they are definitely great guys, with a very good ambience. And that was the scale. A pretty good one too, this time. Whew, very first boss that's going pretty well. And we go for the troll man, the hand. So this guy have a big shield. Shield. And the problem of this big shield is it can uh, carry your own projectiles. And that's definitely a problem. This is why sometimes I have to deal with him, with my katana even if this phase. Okay, charge my Ketanas, and I will also use full charge like that. Because this guy have a lot of cuts in, in, in close combat, so I will definitely be very careful when I fight him. And do less combo than possible. Oh. Ah! That was bad. Anyway. Let's be careful here. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So waiting for this shockwave. Dashing it. Okay, I will do exactly the same things as I did for the last phase of the scale. Oh, the things here I will have to yeah, take some time to 
charge and doing that. It's way safer to doing only to don't do combo against this guy because if you messed up, that trigger cuts in and that's lose you a chance of time. So let's start doing that. Once again, the boss is in golden, so we have a, a tiny face like that. With uh, it's pretty long to be honest, way longer than the normal mode here in Furia mode. So we just have to. Walk around like that. And there we go. Okay, we'll go for the... Yeah, this one. So, carefully dodge that. So here you can mix up with two different combos. That can be problematic sometimes. I will put him down on the ground with the cutscene like that because, yeah, it's definitely safer to charge my... Uh, my attack. Oh, okay. If you want, that's fine. I did a perfect parry. That's not a pr that's not a bad thing because right now I'm I'm only one hit to to do to this guy. Yeah, CQC fights are very scary in here because oh yeah, my Q I saw that in the chat. My I lose my F my uh, F5 uh, touch uh, in this keyboard. That's a great way to recognize it when I go in on-site marathon to don't lose my keyboard. Oh, stun lock! Oh no! Come on, come back to me! I want to, I want to show the stun lock. Actually, I forgot there is a stun lock here. There we go! By doing it a good distance like that, the boss sometimes is stunned. Oh no, that's very bad. There we go. I really want to do this, uh, this combo here. Once again, please. Ah, no, not enough. I will finish with that anyway. Oh, that was not very clean, but that's fine. So, because this boss doesn't use any projectiles, um, the problem is that the the problem is that he's not. Uh, oh, come on! There we go. There we go. Uh, there is no bullet L sections for the last phase. There is this phase with this big green cycle. Let's carefully dodge this uh, big laser like that. There we go. And this final, um, this final phase will be uh, just dodging and the right timing. Oh, damn it! I should stop to doing stupid things. There we go. And that was the hand, uh, a pretty good one too, pretty IP. Here we go for boss number six, the song. So the song is the total opposite of the hand because it's only projectiles. Projectiles. So I will be careful because those two first phases are basically the hardest one, to my opinion. Oh damn it, that's very bad actually. I really because I took a tons of damage right now, so I hope that's enough. No, that's not. Anyway. Okay, here. This laser. I really I really would like to have this boss always on the center of the area. Because she's go out of the area, that's definitely a trouble, a problem. I will be definitely in trouble to do the good amount of damage. Like that. I will stop this attack with a half charge uh, blaster. Perfect. Once again. Oh, this projectile. Oh, somehow she teleported like that. Okay, interesting. Ah, I didn't do enough damage to block this attack. Anyway, losing a little bit of time here, but not so bad. I didn't die, that's, that's a good thing. So here I have to destroy all of this projectile to touch the boss. So for that I use exactly the same strategy I did against the line. There we go. Oh, she will go for the infight attack, that's perfect. That's giving you some opportunity to deal some free damage. So sometimes it's way more 
uh, interesting to just continue to use the blaster instead of trigger the cutscene with of the perfect query because yeah it's uh, it's only it's only very interesting if you are in the close quarter combat fight fight section here we go phase four so there is a pattern that I really don't want to see this is this one so I will cancel it with a tiny catena attack like that every time I see it that's perfect here ah not enough damage anyway she, go she goes in the center I will cancel here. That's with the cutscenes. Give me some time to charge the katana once again. She will go for melee attack and two, three. There we go. So, phase five is basically nearly the same. Oh, bad, bad RNG. Anyway, I have to stop my DPS here to dodging that correctly. That's bad RNG, but that's happened sometimes. RNG was oh RNG was not good in this boss anyway. Oh she go in the center so fast. Ah, that's bad to dealing with that. I will be really careful. Ah I get it at the final the final timing. Anyway, we're losing times. Normally she will go for an overpatron here, laser perhaps, yeah. Ah, I missed it. I'm not used to deal with this laser, so the timing is pretty different, but that's fine, we go through. And now the last phase, also a one who's not, uh, it's a bullet L section, but I have the TB to DPS some things, is those uh, four pillars to deactivate the big shield of the boss. So it's really important to DPS that correctly. For doing that, I can shoot at, uh, at uh, in a very close way like that. You can also boost your your attack, like in normal mode. That the uh, speedrun start in normal mode. But the problem is there is some bullets that can block your your attack, so that's problematic sometimes. So that should be. Ah, I didn't. I can skip this dialogue if I'm fast enough, but. Unfortunately, I wasn't. So here we go. That was the song. Yeah, I lose a lot of time because of those uh, those uh, fail in this phase five and four. Anyway, here comes the boss number seven, the burst. So the burst is basically the true definition of a run killer, to be honest. Uh, she is a, a sniper as we will see, like that. And she touched you with this attack, you're dead, one hit. It's a one hit KO every time that happens, so... Yeah. I'm in very bad positioning right now. I will carefully dodging that. So she, she will probably go once again for, yeah, those purple attack. She will go in the center, I was not fast enough here. There we go. That's fine. So for going to the phase two, there is for going to the phase two, I have to deal all of with all of those drones here. And a good things about this boss, normally she you have to search her around, but as you can see, if I use my parry like that, uh, my character always turn in the direction of the boss, so it's a pretty easy way to know where she is. So this is why I I literally parry void. Just to know where she is. So I will carefully dodge. That was a very clean. That was a very clean phase here. So let's deal with all of those. Uh oh, oh, the mines, the mine, the mine. There we go. Okay, perfect. She's at the bottom. Uh, ah, 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 ah. That's very bad. That's fine. That was close to be. As I said, that was close to be a death here. Because in this mode, in Furia mode, the hard mode of the game, uh, the snipe, the she sniped way, way, way more faster than in the normal mode. So we have to really be careful about that. Okay, you go in the center, of course. 
I will dodge those. Uh, I will not have to deal with those blue wave. There we go. So here, this will be one of the yeah one of the most difficult close combat section, in my opinion. So I will be carefully deal with that. I intentionally put myself in the corner to force her to use only melee attack. There we go. Again. Ah, that's not what I want. She will go for a fight. For four, I think. So. No, no. I will have to wait once again. There we go. I really don't want to trigger this uh, cutscene because this cutscene, the cutscene of uh, of perfect parry, is very long and only deals, deal four damage. And so that's a huge problem. This is really a cutscene that I doesn't want to see. Ah, that's very bad. Don't disappear, please. Thank you. If if she uh, if I took too many damage to deal this melee this melee fight, that it trigger gets in of twelve of uh, tw yeah twelve seconds, and that's lose a tons of times. So. Fortunately, we skipped that, so we are once again in the bullet L section, so if there is any donation or message, that's, that's a great moment, because uh, I have to deal with that. <laughs> I would love to tell everybody that we actually have a prize this time around. Those who donate $50 or more cumulatively during the USB Fest 2020 will be entered to win this beautiful one-of-a-kind poster of our cute little pesto movie, the Besto, if you type up the most secret a link to a picture of it. When you play the game the first time, this pattern is, uh, even in the normal game, is probably one of the toughest ones. With the last pattern of the star, in my opinion. Fun fact, I was not even able to beat this pattern with a controller. I'm so bad with a controller. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. That was the burst. So this is this but it's pretty long. Uh, 14 seconds lost, but anyway, that's not... The... That was a safe run, so... This guy is the Hedge. Boss number 8. And it's only CQC fights, so... Ah. No. Normally that's enough. Yes. Okay. So if you charge your katana, this boss has only 5 HP. So if you charge your katana, you can basically 1 hit KO each phase. Except the f phase number 4 because you have 10 HP at this moment. But the problem is, this guy is crazy fast and also deal tons of damage. Each, each uh, katana slash has 3 HP and a shockwave is 5. So yeah, he did oh, bad RNG. Anyway, let's reset. There we go. That was phase 3, and here we go for phase 4. A very good speedrunner can deal with this guy in less than a minute. In normal mode or inferior mode. Oh damn it, I forgot I'm on the... I forgot I'm on the Furia mode and there is a shockwave instead of a zone because I, I was training the blindfolded boss fight earlier <laughs> and I will do the blindfolded boss fight in normal mode to be honest because in the Furia mode it's pretty dangerous to do. So that was the that was the edge. A pretty short boss to be honest. Where is my cursor please? Thank you. This is the main problem of this boss, the beat. Sometimes I want to see my cursor. I When I miss my cursor at the beginning of this boss that's a disaster. This is the only things that these games have to to do better, a bit, a bit, a better cursor. The rest is absolutely perfect. The music's 
the design of the boss, the gameplay. I love everything in this game, except the cursor. So I will carefully dodge all of these blue big balls because they're chasing you, so that's problematic. And now I have to follow this young lady because yeah, she she ran away every times. Yeah, this music is great. Definitely my top of music, and this game is full of great music. Ah, I'm getting pushed by uh, those ball. I have to really careful, be really careful because everything's here. Uh, did, hey, here we go. There's two damage, and also this uh, ah, this white wave is so slow. Sometimes I I hit her without any intention. Ah, I have to be really careful right now. That's can be a, that's can be a death if I don't care here. If I don't be careful here. That's fine. You recover all of your life for during each, uh, each phase, so... Oh my god. I'm very bad at this one. When I say very bad, it's very bad. No, yeah. That will be a death, I am pretty sure about that. Uh, there is also a death in my PB in this... Uh... Uh, I didn't die. Whew. Because I took, re uh, took a lot of time. The there is one death in my PB in this, exactly in this phase. But here I took my time, so that's fine. <laughs> so, uh, incoming is uh, once again a close quarter combat, but that doesn't. That's more than a troll because the gameplay with you. Because the boss will uh, have, will say, I have some mercy. I'm a young lady, I'm, I'm, I'm weak. But sorry, but I have to kill you. To go to the next boss. There we go. And even if I uh, didn't die, I lose uh, seconds because I was uh, really safe during this uh, during this boss. Incoming, the first boss of the DLC, the Flame. So yeah, you need the DLC to do the Furia mode, the or the the, the speedrun Furia, in Furia mode. And this guy is the flame, and it's definitely uh, oh, boss, to be honest. So most of the time, I will really don't care. Oh, come on! I really no. That was way. That was way too early. Oh my god! I, re I really would. I really want. I really. Ah oh, yeah, okay, we'll go for that. Oh my god! I can die right now. Oof, oh, oh. That was so scary. I did two big mistakes and because of that I was close to to die and I should redo the entire first phase. That was monk ass. Anyway. Oh, I will go for the <laughs> for I don't care strat. I I like that. So most of the time I will try to do a perfect parry to block him in this in this movement. Oh, I get hit once again. When you get hit, you lose your charge and your katana. And that's a big problem in terms of DPS. As you can see, I missed a lot of damage right now. Anyways. Okay, phase three. So I really have to take care about this first attack. Perfect. Because if it lands, uh, I will take a lot of damage and also ah, damn it. and also a big cutscene. So perfect. So yeah, most of the time I will go for a perfect parry here. Where we, where you go, dude? Oh, okay. Nice. And now there we go. Finally, a good start. That was a clean phase. There we go. Phase four. So it will uh, uh, give me my hand like that. I don't know why he just broke this on uh, third uh, arms. 
just to, to have a big uh, big arm a big uh, big weapon can you stop blocking me thank you uh oh uh oh I don't have a lot of yeah the now the the zone is is very tiny okay I will go for a uh, four cuts in like that to charge oh no I missed it anyway oh, no. I, will, I will wait on the ground like that just to use iframes as always Whew. There we go, phase five. Ah, I really, wa I really want perfect parry right now. Ah, it will go in the center. Unfortunate. Nice. This is why I want to block him. For doing that, I have to to parry the. Oh. I have to parry. The, at the very last frame, so it's kind of precise. Oh, okay, so if you want, that's not a problem for me. Oh no, that's very bad to get in touch by that. It will taunt. No, not, not one, not again. Okay, that was very slow, but anyway. A pretty bad flames in the. To be honest, but anyway, that's we didn't die. That's a that's a good thing against this boss. That's always a good thing to don't die against this boss. So here, the last phase once again, it's a bullet L section, but with a DPS uh, with a DPS. Yeah. I, yeah, I really have to carefully dealing damage. Without, get, without losing the timing of, or getting pushed. Okay, that should be that should be good. Perfect. And last phase of dodging. Here the boss will be invincible. So, up, 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 up. come to me. Thank you. And now, boom! And that was the flame. Only two seconds lost. That's fine. That's definitely fine. By the way, hello, Dialka Shade in the chat. The war record order of uh, anything in theory, <laughs> of any category, any any IR things. Yeah, this guy is definitely crazy. And by crazy, I mean crazy good. Even this run on even my PB is far away from the from the level of accomplishment of the the world record of the Erka, so I hope I will not disappoint you. <laughs> oh what this run just did? That's weird. Anyway, so this this boss is normally the last boss of um, the Fury mode, the normal mode. This is the star. Or Captain Manhattan if you want, if you will. And we are in a pretty strange situation. So that means we have a, yeah, a suit like in Gundam or something like that. And because of that, we have this pretty big laser that go through projectiles. It's pretty useful. And by using the very first frame of this big laser, uh, we have a pretty unique DPS. So this is why I always spam the beginning of the laser because this is the fastest way to deal damage with this boss. So here I will use a pretty interesting safe spot like that, and with this pretty precise angle of uh, shooting, I shoot the two hands at the same time for an optimal DPS. Ah, I touch only one of the two hands. Ah, here is better. Yeah. A little bit there. I will carefully dodge those lasers. Ah, 
Come on, can you die please? Thank you. I will use another safe spot here when only one hand is alive. And the next during the next phase we will see one of the rare, very rare uh, glitch in Fury. Uh, this is uh, when the laser um, is activated. The very first pixel of the laser, we don't know why, but deal damage one time per frames. And that means we we'll have a crazy DPS. Like, oh, damn it, I missed it. Oh, that's very bad. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was close to be a stupid death because I missed it the first time. <laughs> it's been a long time that didn't happen to me. Whew. Well, we are once again in the last phase of the boss, and once again the boss is invincible during the this whole two minute and half of bullet hell, and with this cool safe spot. So if there is any message or um, donations, that's the perfect moment. Yes, actually, Dirkashade gave us ten dollars and says, "You're killing it, Nitian. Best of luck from the Fury community." Thank you. They are definitely a great guy. We have a Discord, pretty active recently. Past the four years of this game, and we also have some, still have some new runners coming in, coming into it. So we are pretty happy about that because still yesterday we discovered things against uh, in this game. So yeah, it's definitely a great ad adventure to begin to be uh, to speedrunning these games. And honestly, if you already deal with this game in normal mode, that's it's just just playing the games. It's not very. There is speedrun strat, but there is a, not a lot of glitch or setup or things really difficult to handle. Just have to get good. Yeah, that's definitely just that. Being a speedrun art theory, so don't hesitate to join us. And also, the speedrun mode is crazy well made. So you don't need anything else. You don't need light split. You don't need. Uh, you don't need. Uh, Auto splitter, you don't. Uh oh. You just need something to record yourself, and there we go. So. Oh, you will destroy me, sure. By the way, this pattern destroyed me so many times. Oh, where is my. Yeah, my cursor. There we go. This is the only problem of this game, the cursor. And only the problem that controller player doesn't have. And to be honest, yeah, I didn't speak about that because I just said I play with a keyboard. But honestly, the fastest runner of this game is play with the controller. All of all of them play with the controller, except Sombra Cake, I think. It's also a keyboard player. Me and I don't remember. And I and I'm only uh, I only have one time of the top 20 in the in the normal mode. In the fear mode, it's different because it's not as run as a normal mode. So. Yeah, play, playing with a controller is definitely a, a great option. So, uh, 18 seconds lost, but that's fine. And here we go for the very last boss of the fear mode and the last boss of the games, the mighty Bernard. So Bernard is uh, the test boss, the boss for testing pattern from the development studio, and they say, hey, let's. Let's get all of the patterns, they are too hard for implementing it in the games and doing a whole boss with that, with 9 phase. And because of that there is a legend that the development department never, was never able to beat this guy. So that's make, yeah, a pretty difficult boss. And also a pretty, the biggest run killer of this game, of this uh, run. Because it also have pattern when where is invincible for something like 20 seconds, and when that happens, it's basically run death at a certain level. So, so let's taking care of this guy. Ouch! That's big. That's it. Hurt. So this is the phase two. Carefully dodging that. Go for it. Uh oh. Woohoo! That was close. Go on the ground, sir. Thank you. Oh, we'll go for a big shock wave. I just have to carefully dodging that and go for the phase three. Phase three is pretty interesting because there is a there is a big super pattern at the end, at the end of it. I will try to dodge. I will try to avoid it, but honestly, I'm not very good at doing that. So there we go. 
Okay, we'll go for this big cycle. I will go for a tiny two combo here. Ah, I get it. I'm getting it without any... Because I didn't pay attention. Ah, that's will not... An... Oh, that's fast enough, perhaps. Perhaps I will... I will uh... Oh, yeah! I didn't... Uh, I skipped this pattern. I was... I'm so bad at doing that, and I skip a, a very big pattern by being fast enough here. I'm... Ah, no. I will go for that. Oh, then... I was close to getting hit. That was a very clean phase three. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. We are in phase four, so let's remember. Of course, each phase will re remember you a boss, and that's absolutely normal. Okay, so now we're pushing that. Sorry if I don't speak a lot against this boss, but honestly, it's need my entire atten attention to don't do things like that. <laughs> There we go, phase 5. So phase 5 uh, can begins to have really big pattern, like this one. So I have to be careful about this one too. I'm s I'm not very good at it. Oh, okay. So this is one of the patterns I speak about. Now the boss is invincible for a lot of moments, and that's only, uh, that's only RNG, that's RNG based, so I can't do anything about that, and that's a huge time lost. Okay. Okay, that was a clean close quarter combat fight. Phase six. So here I will take it intentionally to be close at the boss, to be as close at the boss as possible. Going some setback during the close quarter combat phase. Okay, that's a very good pattern here. Very slow and very easy to deal with. That's perfect, he didn't do the big pattern. Begin with the melee attack. That's also pretty good because I can put him down on the ground like that. Oh! Remains one attack. Ah. And that was pretty slow because unfortunately I, I would like to skip a pattern and I didn't do that correctly. So, phase 7. Okay. Oh, perfect parry. That's great. Oh, that's a very good pattern here because once again he can go on the center if I'm not lucky. That's perfect. No big pattern here. That was. That's actually it's a very clean turn now. For my level, I mean. Okay. And phase number 8. So this phase is basically pretty easy to handle when you are in this, uh, um, yeah, in the section when we can use the blaster. But in close combat, in close quarter combat, I'm, uh, I'm pretty bad, and I search for a long time a way to deal with to deal with correctly. I will try a new strat that I found recently. But if I'm not lucky, that will not, or I will not do, I will not do it. Let's do it safe. There we go. Okay. Okay. And there it is. This is and now this is the final phase of Renard with this, with this pretty exciting music. This is one of my this is my favorite music here. When the music going very crazy during this phase. So once again this is two minutes of bullet hell section or dodging section, so if there is any duration before we pass to the blindfolded boss fights, it's definitely a great time. Yes, we do have a donation. We have a $14 donation here from Mimi, who said, want to get that animal hat goal to its max. Good luck to all the runners and good luck to bullets during all those animal games. And with that, we actually met that goal that incentive that we were looking for. So we will be getting that short Animal Game Bonanza wear a different hat each run. 
thank you for the donations. I just, uh, I, I, I just thinking that's a that's a deathless run. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm so used to die on the beat. Or, oh, ouch! Oh, that's not the run is not finished. So I will jinx it. No, I'm not die. I'm not dying here. <laughs> Woohoo! Ouch! Oh, I took a lot of. Let's take King Care, to be honest. Just to be sure. Because, yeah, this. Uh, when you know exactly how this patch I'm going in, it's not so hard, to be honest. Considering the, the path you already made. And there we go, last ones. So, for the last few days and weeks, I'm still trying to get a, a sub 50. But it's hard. It's hard. But one day, one day, that will be. I will be one of the guy who go under 15, 15 minutes, and that's time. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? That's definitely a. That's a huge PB for my bear now. Wow, seven seven forty one. What the? That's definitely. I. Totally obliterate my PB of uh, of this boss. That's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Missions. Con considering the yeah the many the many different uh, failure here during this uh, during this whole run. I mean, in the, especially in the strap and the song and so on. The the run didn't begin well, but yeah, that was a crazy damn good finish. So. We still have to reward all of those generous donations with the blindfolded boss fight, I think. So here, uh, just a quick, uh, quick see of the of this ranking. Uh, actually, on the speedrun.com ranking, there is only three validated run with video proof. There is Derek Shade, the War Record Order, Angelim, just here, and here is me, just here. But considering Derek have uh, a 4109 video proof runs we can consider it that all of the overruns are definitely legit so yeah pretty happy to be in the top 10 <laughs> so there we go that's not a lot losing times with this incentive so uh, as you can see the edge is pretty Je vais te don't touch me thank you uh, is uh, CQC is only cross combat cross quarter combat but you can also deal with it only with the sound and this is what I will do right now. So, uh, where is the? Yeah, I'm, I don't see absolutely anything already uh, without my glasses. So, <laughs> this is why. I'm... Okay, uh, I will try to honestly. I will try to do real, real strats. Normally, I shouldn't do that, but there we go. Est-ce qu'il y a autre chose que tu aimerais me montrer? Ou c'est tout ce que tu as? Ah, don't do that, please. I'm already at two HP. Now I'm full HP. Yeah. <laughs> no! Anyway. I go for the normal threat. Okay, so I will try to do the, the charged weapon attack, but without seeing the the way of this, the movement of this arms, it's pretty difficult to know if we are, if he are, he will go for three shot or five shot or four shot. I mean, so I did that correctly in the first phase, and the second one is hard. No, not do that, please. Oh, that's fine. He let me the time to charge, so that was phase three. There we go for phase four. Two, three, four, five.
And that's it. What? Ah! I'm dead. I, I missed this. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I missed this uh, this parry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Here we go again. That's five here. Yeah, that's five. Oh, I get it. Oh my god, I'm dead once again. <laughs> okay, uh, let's concentrate a little bit because I, it's remain only one left, one life. Okay. Two, three, four, five. You're dead right now. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I was sure I parried a counter, but that was not the case. So, anyway. <laughs> well, that was Fury in the Fury mode. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, yeah, this runs. Uh, as I said, we have a Discord uh, with all of the F all of the Fury community is really, uh, yeah, is. Is hungry to having a new runners to sharing all of the knowledge because it's definitely a, it's definitely something that's multiplicate with you more the people you have so don't hesitate if you already finished this game and unlock the speedrun mode don't hesitate to join the discord and ask for some tips for completing the speedrun mode as fast as possible and thank you for the Midwest Speedfest for having me and having us as uh, for this Good, uh, for these very good uh, games. I think there is no no more to say. Thank you for all of the nations and having a good marathon, guys. See you.